The goal of enhanced yeast-1 hybrid assays is to identify the set of transition factors that bind to a DNA sequence of interest. The advantage of this technique is that enhanced yeast-1 hybrid assays can evaluate more than 1,000 transition factors in a single experiment. Conversely, chromatin immunoprecipitation evaluates only one transition factor at a time. This method constitutes a key tool for functional genomics to identify the repertoire of transcription factors that bind to gene promoters and enhancers and to identify altered transcription factor binding to non-coding variants. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Xing Liu, a postdoc from my laboratory. Thaw the yeast glycerol stock plates with the TF Prey array on ice. Resuspend the yeast using a 12 channel pipette and proceed to the next step within one to three minutes. To spot the yeast into SC tryptophan rectangular plates, use a high density array robot to select MultiWell 96 plates as the source, 96 auger plates as the target, and 96 long pin pads. Pin pads are not reusable and should be discarded. Select the Spot Many program to make two copies per 96 well plate. Do not use the Recycle or Revisit options to avoid back contamination of the frozen stocks. Also, select the option to swirl up and down in the source to mix the yeast. Follow instructions for where and when to place the plates and allow the robot to spot the yeast into SC tryptophan rectangular plates. Bag the spotted array and incubate it, agar side up, at 30 degrees Celsius for two to three days. To generate 384 colonies.